Hey everyone, it's Julie and I am back with yet another VR. I am trying to keep abreast of these tags here so that it is not another five days, five VR situation <laughs> that I'm forcing myself to do in order to catch up. Okay, so today's VR is to Anna at Astro Lady Tarot. She created the tag My Disheveled Decks. So of course I will leave the link to her video in the description box below. So my selection of decks is a combination of ones that are disheveled from use and then ones that are disheveled from mods. So let us start with the first. And of course, of course, of course, here, let me zoom in. I mean, look at this, my everyday witch tarot. <laughs> It has, you know, it, it has seen um, better days, I guess, but it's actually in pretty decent condition considering that I've used this deck a lot. You can see where I've riffled, shuffled, and anyway, I, um, I could re-edge the deck, but I really just, I don't really care. And I actually like the worn-in look of it, um, or rather of the edging. But if you if you look at the cards themselves, I mean, they're in pretty decent shape. And say what you want about Llewellyn cardstock, but it's treated me very well over the years anyway. So that is my first disheveled deck. Next up is my Raven's Prophecy Tarot, and I did modify this one. And love this deck. I, it's no surprise to anyone who has been on my channel. So you can see that, you know, there's just some, some wear through shuffling and use. And I don't mind, I don't mind it at all. So what I did was I had colored in the, I'd colored over like the remnants of the orange border with black so that I could keep the backs fairly uniform. Um, and, you know, still have a fairly uh, minimally orange looking front with the images. So this was the result. And I, I did this coloring with a, um, what's it called? Uh, Uniposka marker. And I... Yeah, I liked the result of it. Again, you know, I, this just, these kind of scuffs don't bother me at all. And actually, I think it kind of adds some character to this deck. So, so yes, this is my modified Raven's Prophecy Tarot. This next deck is the Tarot of a Moon Garden. And again, if you've been on my channel for a length of time, you will have seen the evolution of this deck in terms of modification. It went from being fully bordered to just having the filigree border to this, which I am just so obsessed with. I love it. I love this more elongated bookmark shape and I feel like it's more broken in. I am certainly very comfortable with using this deck now. I have had it for a few years. And in the beginning, I was a bit intimidated by it because I had never worked with pippish decks before. So I wasn't really sure how to use this deck. But this is the deck that I um, practiced with in terms of using uh, pip style and, you know, Marseille style um, system or, or, or reading of tarot along with uh, Tom Benjamin's Tarot on Earth. Next deck, Tarot Cyrene. And you will see right away why this looks disheveled. I mean, look at that, I wrote all over the cards. <laughs> so it is very much a disheveled looking deck. Um, I wrote certain keywords and phrases down that uh, I took from the 
shoot, what is that book? Learning the Marseille or, oh crap, the, the Yorav Bendov book, that one. <laughs> so this year was um, the year that I wanted to refamiliarize myself with like Marseille, like a second round of study. I already had studied Marseille previous to that, but I wanted to uh, just refresh myself with <clears throat> with Marseille, you know, kind of give Marseille in itself and not necessarily the broader um, the broader kind of pip style decks, but Marseille in particular, I wanted to give that a try. So now while this isn't traditional Marseille, it it does its best to to emulate the the major elements of a Marseille. Um, so yeah, I just thought it would be very helpful to go ahead and write different key phrases and it's made for a great bonding experience with this deck. This next deck is new to my collection and it is the Murder of Crow's Tarot. And the reason I include this deck in this tag is because it is disheveled by red Sharpie. That's, you know, I, I did my best to just make this deck look as bloody as possible. I'm just kidding, no. That really wasn't the goal, but I did want to accent this deck in red to uh, imitate the limited edition of this deck that's no longer available. So I just took my red Sharpie and went ahead and modified all the cards. And I wasn't trying to be too perfectionist with it. I wanted it to look more raw, to be consistent with the kind of uh, raw vibe of the deck itself. So I am, I am thinking that over time with more use, uh, it will look even better and even more disheveled. This next deck is the Magical Tarot. It is a scratch and reveal activity. So it comes as uh, pages in a book and you punch out each of the cards and um, you then scratch off the coding to reveal each image. So I did make this into a usable deck. I don't think that was necessarily the goal of the publishing company. I don't know, maybe it was. Um, but yeah, this, y'all don't buy this deck, okay? Or don't buy this book because the amount of work it takes to make this into a deck is probably not worth it. Um, or at least I don't think many people. Okay, so let's put it this way. I have, uh, and I apologize to anyone, <laughs> anyone else who falls into this group, but I have, when I've shown this deck before, um, people have purchased the book and then have proceeded to message me and um, tell me how frustrated they are and what tips and tricks do I have. And I don't have any tips and tricks. I was just, it was just something that I was mindlessly doing uh, to distract myself. So I, I just don't, and perhaps then maybe I shouldn't be showing you this, <laughs> this deck, but I'm gonna, cause it's my effing channel. And I want to, because this is so disheveled. Like, I don't know if you can see, so where I had to scratch off the coating, can you see like all the, the scratch marks from the tool? Um, and then, yeah, I had to uh, trim off all the borders because of the, um, you know, the perforated like punch edges. And then I had to back it with contact paper. So I'm telling you, it's not worth it for most people. Um, and then there are certain cards where like you can see, like for instance, this one, there's like a bend in the middle. <laughs> this one is the very first card that I tried to scratch off. And I was pressing so hard that I accidentally ripped into the, the surface. And so I just covered it with, with stickers. But yeah, this is one of my most disheveled decks. Can you see the scratches? 
um, but I love it. And it was the perfect distraction I needed at that time in my life and like the best give, gift that I could get at that time. So, but don't get this deck y'all, just don't get it. The final disheveled deck is the Marigold Tarot. And this one was actually not disheveled by moi, but rather by Mixtress Ray. And I had mentioned to her that this deck was very intriguing to me and it is it is definitely my aesthetic but that I have not had like the best of luck with um, skeleton decks or skelly decks being uh, staying in my my tarot library for the long term so I was a little hesitant to purchase this and so she uh, graciously offered me this copy which was her backup copy being very uh transparent about the fact that it was damaged. I can show you some of the damaged cards actually. Uh, I think she had spilled anointing oil or something on it. Or I, I can't remember. I mean, she, she mentioned it on her channel. I, I mean, like, so the damage happened on her channel. Like she was, she didn't realize that it was damaged until she was uh, showing it, if, my, if I remember correctly. But I think she had it like baking in her hot car with like, <laughs> The anointing oil or something like that, which, by the way, makes this deck smell like fucking fantastic. So I'm not mad about it. But here, here you can see. So what I did was I went over the um, damaged parts with my Uniposca. And I think it looks pretty damn good. You know, I mean, yeah, in certain lights you can see the damage, but I think it's fine. And it's still a usable deck. So you can see the damage back here too, but still a usable deck, still excellent quality. Um, so yeah, there are a few other cards that are like that, but I, it does. I don't mind at all. I really don't. Um, and I'm I'm very grateful that I get the chance to yeah to work with this deck. Um, so here's another one. But see, like you can't can't really tell. unless you yeah hold it in certain lights. But, you know, this is a deck just for my personal use. So does not bother me. And that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this VR. And until the next time, much love and take care.